Okay, so I know all of you lot love networking videos just as much as I love making them, especially ones that are to do with network speed. How fast can the internet go? Well, if you like those types of videos, then this is the video for you. Let's go super, super fast today. So what we're about to unbox here, guys, is a mesh system for what is going to be the router for the fastest residential home broadband connection available here in the United Kingdom. Now, before we go into that, I do want to explain a little bit about broadband and how broadband works here in the UK. So I'll throw some big names at you. A lot of you guys will know names like Google Fiber, who, well, offer internet speeds of up to 1,000 megabits per second. Now, if you have these speeds, you're very, very lucky because Google Fiber isn't in a lot of places. And the way Google Fiber works is it's a direct fiber connection to your house. Now here in the UK, things run a little bit differently and I'll explain whilst I'm unboxing the router for my connection, which I've actually opted with BT's BT Plus, which gives me over 300 megabytes here in the UK. Just wanna let you guys know, this isn't sponsored whatsoever. This is what I'm paying for. Oh, so it's really cool. It says, it's here, our smartest hub yet. So like I said, two types of broadband in the UK. We have fiber to the home. Now fiber to the home is like it says, it's like Google fiber. It's fiber directly to your home. And FTTC is fiber to the cabinet. You know that green cabinet that you see in the street? Well, that is how the internet gets to your house. The problem with fiber to the cabinet though is the connection to your house and the cabinet is most probably a copper cable, which isn't very fast at all. It probably tops out around 70 megabits per second, which is why BT here in the UK can only offer those speeds. So with this being a brand new estate my house is built on, I have access to FTTH, fiber to the home, so I have a direct fiber connection to my house. And BT offer BT Plus, which takes advantage of that, gives you this awesome hub to receive the internet or router, router, and then they also give you, and this is really clever because I know internet well, a mesh disc to go along with the BT hub to get range where this thing wouldn't reach. So let's say if you've got a huge house or you wanna get signal out in the garage, this is included. So we're gonna set this up today, do a speed test of the fastest residentially available UK broadband and test out their super hub with the mesh disc and see how easy this is to set up and see what the speeds are like. So a lot of you guys will be rightly thinking to yourself, Alex, why have you gone ahead and got this BT residential connection when you yourself are your own ISP and you sell internet to people? Well, I'll tell you why. It's to simply take strain off of my main network. So obviously a lot of you know that I have a main internet connection line that I resell to all of my customers, my WISP via Wi-Fi. Well, I actually send internet to myself, as a lot of you know, I have about 100 meg coming into this house from my own WISP, but if I can offload my own traffic via this BT connection off my network, it frees up available bandwidth for all of my customers. So this is only a good thing. Let's see how this connects, because it's really, really interesting. So this right here, guys, is called an ONT, an optical network termination. Now this is where the fiber optic cable enters into my house, and in here we should have an RJ45 port or an Ethernet port, as some people like to call it, in here, which will then go out to our BT router. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take this included Ethernet cable that came with the BT router, hopefully find the RJ45 port in there. Now it is important to note these ONTs also have a backup battery in them for if you have a power outage, and this is also how they get the phone line into your house too, all through that fiber optic network. And then essentially we plug in, power on, and wait for this thing to connect, and then, we can do a speed test. Okay then guys, with our fiber coming in and terminating at our fiber optic termination, then coming out nice and clean, going into our brand new BT Hub. It's time to connect to the BT Hub, which I've actually already done via its Wi-Fi card, and launch a speed test. Right, this is the moment of truth. Let's hope for a nice low ping, 10 is decent, and then, oh wow, that is so cool. Straight to my house, 290. Is it gonna over Wi-Fi, mind? 
That is very impressive. And then we should see an upload speed, yeah, of around 50 megabits per second. Now guys, that is the fastest, now please pay attention to this next word, residential connection speed you can get here at the moment in the UK. That is fiber to the house and then straight in to your provider's hub, in this case, a BT Home Hub. That is the fastest speed you can expect here in the UK. Now, I know Virgin Media, who are another cable company, do a 300 megabyte service, I think. So around the same thing, 300 meg. Let's set up this Wi-Fi disk, though, and see if this is any good. Looks like we've got our Wi-Fi hub here and then our power connection. Now, what this isn't is a wireless repeater. What it is, is a mesh system. So it's actually got two separate antennas inside of this thing. One of them's gonna go ahead and pick up the signal from the super hub and the other one is gonna go ahead and repeat that signal. So it's not halving the bandwidth by having one antenna doing both. So I've gone ahead and picked up the instruction manual for the Wi-Fi disc because we've got a red flashing light on the front of it. And it says right here, red flashing, your disc is not connected to your Smart Hub 2. Follow the instructions to connect using WPS or Ethernet. So I'm just gonna hold the WPS button for five seconds on the back of the main Super Hub. And then go ahead and repeat that same thing on this. Hold it for about five seconds. And as you can see, we're now flashing blue on here. So hopefully these two things can establish a connection. There's actually a hang hole and an ethernet port in case you want to wire into something. We'll test how that works in a second. Let's hope these link up though. Now I'm gonna bust a myth here and see if the ethernet port on the back of our wireless connected disc yields an internet connection. And then from there, we can also see what the speeds are like between our Wi-Fi disc and the main hub. Okay, I wonder what this is gonna be. Oh, eight ping, still pretty good. And there you go. 230, 240, 250, 270, 280. So guys, that proves that we're getting about a 250 megabit per second connection out of our total 300 meg coming into our router here at our base station. So what this is actually doing is it's copied the SSID and password of the main router so you can roam around the house and uh, still be connected to the same Wi-Fi and experience those speeds. But you see, the thing is, main router's there, Extender disc is there. Yeah, we could go and stand at the top of the garden, but this kit is so powerful, it's surprising me. I reckon we go beyond the garden and try and still connect to my house's Wi-Fi down, down the street. Okay, we're gonna try and do this as quick as possible because it is super, super chilly out here. So if you come round here to the front of my house, I should be able to see on the wall in just a second, the BT Super Hub extension box is there. So let's just walk down the street and see how far we can theoretically go with this. We're just gonna speed this up for comical effect. There we go, this is it, that's the end. My house is all the way down there. Now guys, you've got to remember that we are so far away from my house right now, so anything is, what? 20 meg. Guys, we are houses away. 27, no, that's mental. So guys, there you go. I'm coming back in because it's nice and warm. And that is essentially the cream and the crop of British residential broadband, guys. 300 meg, fiber to the property into BT's home hub, and then using BT's Wi-Fi disk to then amplify the signal. Here in the UK, that is probably the best internet you will ever get to a residential home. And I'm very lucky to have a house that is enabled with a fiber on, fiber to the home to do this. And obviously BT have supercharged it with their Wi-Fi disk extending the Wi-Fi range. And I think that makes it really, really difficult for other providers here in the UK and even myself to compete. But guys, I hope you found this video insightful. If you have a like rating, would be wicked. And if you haven't, the other one seems to do okay too, guys. But for now, my name's been Alex and we shall see you in the next one. Guys, if you want to check out any of our other networking videos, we've got some absolutely balling ones here on YouTube. There's two right there to check out. And if you guys aren't subscribed, click that button right there because, well, we'd really appreciate it.